Mike, you had to make a couple of changes on your coaching staff in the last month, but in the process of adding some new pieces, you moved some pieces around. If you would talk about the decision to kind of shuffle the staff and, and try to make yourself a little bit different for 2020. Well, excited about a lot of the continuity that we could continue to have. Um, we had some coaches that, that moved on and we made some changes just like we do with the players. Um, those things happen in the coaching staff. I'm happy to hire you know, Anthony Midget uh, from, from the Texans. It's a guy that I've worked with um, on the defensive side, very knowledgeable, not only um, in, in multiple schemes, but also our scheme. Excited that he's going to have a lot of experience in our system and our terminology. Um, Jim Hazlitt's going to coach our inside linebackers. I think he'll be a great veteran presence for what we think is a, is a young, talented group. Um, Matt Edwards is going to go from special teams uh, over to defense. And Matt's, uh, you know, Matt played defense. He's coached defense. And I want to make sure that um, we continue to grow all our coaches. Ryan Crow spent time on offense in college, defense with us, and then now given the opportunity to do some special teams. So continue to grow these guys, uh, whether it be for us or for these guys to help their career. You mentioned your familiarity with Anthony Midget. What makes him such a good fit for this team specifically? Well, I always liked his demeanor. I think that uh, you have to have different personalities uh, throughout the staff, you know. You don't want everybody to be the same. He's got a, a very calming uh, personality. Um, I recognized that when I coached with him. Uh, and I think he'll he'll be great with our defense. I think he, our defensive backs will enjoy his his knowledge and um, the, the really his, his range in our defense. Getting Jim Hazlitt to come to the Titans and be the linebackers coach, did that take a little convincing on your part? Uh, you know, guys, it, you know, it's, it's really, it feels good when players uh, want to play for the Titans and it feels good when, when guys want to coach and want to, you know, people want to be a part of our organization. Um, there, there were a lot of those guys. Um, Jim was a guy that, that drafted me when I was in Pittsburgh, when I was a, a player out of college doing this process. And um, I just always respected his honesty, his toughness, uh, his knowledge of the game. You have not named a defensive coordinator. Have you decided yet who's going to call the defense on game day? Well, working through the process, I'm excited about our staff. Um, you know, Terrell Williams, a great defensive line coach. Um, you know, Scott Booker um, promoted him to a safeties coach. He had been a you know a defensive assistant, but I think he really earned uh, that that title and that promotion um, for the work that he did with not only you know Kenny and Kevin, but also you know Hook and and Dane and those young players and and working with Kalu. So, you know, Scott's done a great job. Um, you know, Sh Shane Bowen is a guy that's been with me for a long, long time at Ohio State and Houston. So working through the process and always going to do what's best for the Titans and, and for the players. Speaking of working through the process, you and John Robinson working hard over the last few weeks, trying to figure out what the 2020 roster is going to look like. What's that been like for the head coach? It's been great. I mean, those conversations are easy. Uh, John and I, at the end of the day, I always want to do what's best for the Titans. We want to see the player through the same set of eyes. What can he do for us? Uh, how much does he love football? You know, how many roles can he play? Is he versatile? Um, and so we we do. We, 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 we spend a lot of time. We watch players back to back and, and try to rank them with his staff. His staff is on the pro side and obviously on the college side have done a great job. Those guys go out. They're with players, you know, coaches all year. And then they come back and they meet with John and I. Combine number three for you as a head coach. How is it different than one and two? Um, you know, they change the schedule. You know, they, it's the schedule change. So for some of these guys that have been um, a part of the Combine for 25 years and it's been the same thing, I can only imagine them checking their schedule all the time to see where things are and how it's changed. But um, I just go where Stretch tells me to go. <laughs> That's a great answer. The Titans are getting a lot of attention throughout the month of February. How is that impacting you? That we've gotten a lot of attention? Um, not really impacted me at all. You know, I think when people say, you know, great job, great season, I'm proud of our players. I'm proud of their effort, uh, how hard they played um, to, to go on the road uh, like we had to do. Um, I'm really proud and I'm thankful for them and I try to, try to tell them as often as I can.